So some of you came and said, can, you, can it make money? Yes, it can. Uh, do you have to put effort into it? Yeah. yeah. It's real business. You've got to put some effort and some time into it. Um, you can do it part-time uh, and build it to, to where you want to take it. But you do have to put effort and time into it. That's the, the key to it. So I'm going to get started. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to, how many of you, uh, is there anybody who's never seen our shop.com site? Anybody who's never seen the shop.com? So a few people. I'm going to take you live to the shop.com site right off the bat. And I'm just going to show you a few things. It'll take about five minutes to give you an overview on it. I could literally spend hours on it to give you an idea. So when I say an overview, it'll be a quick overview. But I, I think it makes more sense to see it live sometimes. So when I go here and you see this shop.com site that's right there, you'll notice uh, first, one person to notice is it says your shop consultant is Jim and Lisa Winkler. That means I'm registered into my, my own site, okay? Um, and it says welcome Jim, that means I'm, uh, I'm there. And you'll see $179 in cash back. That means that's how much cash back I have in that account that I haven't had sent to me. Because anytime it goes over $10, I can have it sent to me or I can use it towards other exclusive product purchases. So either, either way. So what I want to show you is a, a couple things. We have partnered with about 3,000 stores online. Probably most of the stores you shop at right now, we're partnered with. So how many people shop online, by the way, in the, in the room? So a lot of people do online shopping. Um, so if you do shop online, wouldn't it be great to get paid for doing it every time you do it? Yes. And, and that's what I wanted to look at. Let's take an example. Let's say that I go to right here and I want to go to Target. Uh, let's say I want to go to Target. So we'll say I'll do there's Target.com. I'll click OK. What happens is this pops up. You're going to notice, and this, one all, this only shows this because I'm a business owner and the computer recognizes that with the business. But it says if I shop at Target online, I'm going to get 2% cash back because I did it through my website. The 4% IBD stands for Internet Business Volume. And think of those like points that are on top of the cash back we earn when we shop at any of the partner stores that add up to pay us commissions on top, okay, on top of what we earn uh, in cash back. So if I click this, it's going to take me to the matching store page. It says shop and save now. So when it goes there, this is target site. This is not Market America or shop.com making a, a new site for Target. This is Target site. I, I did something ahead of time to show you. The only thing that makes this different, do you see where the, uh, it says www.target.com? Do you see the tr there's a big long number that goes past it? That's a tracking <coughs> number. And what that tracking number does is it now shows if I buy anything through that Target website, it's going to track back and pay me cash back on it. And how many of you ever look for deals online? Anybody look for deals? Like you can go to Coupon Cabin, you go to whatever it is, right? What we do as a company is we take all those deals that are online and we pre-populate them together and we put it in the shop buddy for you. So you can go down and take a look at it. In fact, I can scroll down here. See, and if I wanted to, I could click right on one of these like I've got highlighted right there. Just by clicking on it, when I go to check out, I can then uh, right click, put it in, and it would automatically give me the deal that's, that, that's right there. So what's it doing? It's a tracking mechanism, it's paying me cash back, and it's giving me the best deals on the internet right away from the stores I already shopped from. Now another thing though is, um, I think, you know, things we all look for. We want, we want to save money, right? So we've already talked about how to save on, on deals, but how many people want to save time, too? I mean, time is as important as money sometimes, isn't it? So let's say we're going into the holidays, and you say, you know what? I want to get, um, I want to get an iPad. And you say, uh, all right, let's search for an iPad. Now, it took, well, how long did that just take, by the way, to pop up? Seconds. Seconds? Okay, I just want to make sure, so that's not too slow. Uh, let's look at this one where it says there's uh, four stores that are selling it. I'm going to click on it. And when I go to it, it's going to show me the four different stores that are such shows me the three. I'd have to click to get the other one that's uh, down below. But one thing you notice, one's $479, one's $499, one's 500 
One gives me cash back, and it shows how much IGV on each one. What it did is it automatically went through the 3,000 stores we have, and said, and it put them in price order for me, so I can get the best deal on it right off the bat. And wouldn't that be nice going into the holidays to just boom, do that, and put it all together, uh, and it even shows my cash back. Now, what if I look at this and I said, you know what? It's not going to let me do this either, I don't think, because I did it recently. But what if I said, you know, that's still too much money. I want to get this thing when it gets $450. I have the ability, I clicked on what's called a price alert. Did you see that right there? I put my email in. Uh, I'm going to unclick that because I already get it. Oh, let me do this. Let me do this. I'm going to say when it gets to $450. Okay, I'm going to put my email in, and I'm going to submit it. Okay, that uh, must be less than one price in the rent than the current product. Let's go 400. I think I already put one of these in, that's why I was worried it wouldn't do it. Okay, well, let me do it because I already put one in. You guys put the doc 00 for it? Um, I think it's because I put one in already. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, what happens is when you put it in on a new product, when I put 400 and I put my email as an example, any of the 3,000 stores, when it gets to $400, it emails me automatically with a link back to the store to get it. Now, how many people have ever heard of Cyber Monday that's coming up? It's actually not even Cyber Monday anymore, is it? It's a week long uh, week of deals, basically. What if you had most of your things already pre-programmed and you just started getting email after email after email as it came to you with the specials in there, it saved you a whole lot of money going through uh, and doing that. Now, one of the other things we've got here, I mean, I can share this online. I can go to Facebook. I can say, great deal on, um, you know, a new, new iPad uh, like this. In fact, I'll do it real quick. I'll say, great deal, great deal, deals on iPads going into the holidays. Boy, that sounds too early to say. But it's going to be here before we know it, isn't it? Yeah. So now I click, I share it. How long did that take me to write that up? Six seconds. Six seconds. Six seconds. Six seconds. Six seconds. Okay. That just went out to 9,000 people. If anybody sees it, likes it, says, hey, I'm looking for an iPad, clicks on the link, where does it take them? It takes them back to my website, my shop.com site. And when it takes them there, if they decide to click on it and buy, who gets credit on it? You do. I do. So what I'm trying to trying to show you is it sort of takes care of it real quick in an easy way to put that uh, together. Now we can also go back and let's go back to the main page. <clears throat> and when I go here. Uh, you'll notice we have uh, shop.com groceries, we have Marley Coffee, we've just partnered with Great Coffee, if you've never tried it, by the way. Um, and then you go down to some of the exclusive products, we'll go to the Isotonics. And uh, remember I said I, I, I learned about the company through a product called OPC3. Well, when you look at this product, I clicked on it to get some information, but maybe I want to get more information. So I click on full product details, and what it can show me is the benefits, it can show me the details, it can give me reviews. Uh, I can go down, I can look for ingredients, I can look for uh, science on here. I can look for um, frequently asked questions with it. Now why is that important? When I started this, I knew I liked the products because I took them and I liked them. They help with my allergies. Did I, did I have a nutritional background? No, not at all. So if someone asked me questions I couldn't answer, could I, could I look it up and give it to him? Yes. 1997, no, I could not. <laughs> you know what I had to do? I had to call somebody who knew something to help me. Because there was no way to look it all up. Uh, in fact, I went to the company's website when I was brand new. 1997, I go to the company's website. It says Market America. I click on it. It doesn't open. Guess why it didn't open? I called the phone number on the website. I said, your website's broken. It doesn't open. You know what they told me? That's our website. It was 1997. 
<laughs> now we have three of one of the largest websites in the world. Think of the name shop.com. Okay, I mean, think of getting that name, how big that is, and having it. And you, so you can see all these different things that are available with this to make it uh, easier and simpler to learn. There's videos available from back here. What if I had a friend and, and said, hey, that Jim Winkler guy, he told me that this could be something that might help with allergies. Maybe I could just email my friend, send them an email, they get the email, they open the email, instead of going to shop.com, where would it take the take to? The right to the product, so they don't even have to look for it on my website. It goes directly to it, I can email them directly. So those are a couple of the benefits that you have uh, online with this. And again, I could, as I mentioned, I could spend so much time on here. How many of you like to travel? Anybody like to travel? And love it, right? I know you do. <laughs> love it, right? Well, we work with Priceline.com. How'd you like to get paid every time you ever took a flight? Oh, yes. Wouldn't that be good? Uh, Priceline.com, Travelocity, Expedia, uh, Hotels.com. Um, again, when I keep saying, probably every store you look at, we're working with, okay? So that's the, the shop.com part of our business. Let me ask you one more question, and I do this because it makes typically some common sense for people. If we work with Kohl's, if we work with um, Nordstrom's, if we work with Priceline.com, if we work with all these made Best Buy, all these major stores, what is their number one thing they protect? They protect their name, their brand, right? Do you think they researched us and looked at us pretty good? Yeah. Before they said, hey, I'm going to partner with this of company. Course, yeah. Of course, yeah. you would do that for sure, wouldn't you? Yeah. So they had their attorneys go up and down, make sure they're doing a good partnership with a good company. Yeah. And the only reason I take a minute to say that to you is some of you are thinking, well, is this, is this real? What's it really do? If it is good enough for them, I'm going to tell you it's probably good enough for you. All right? Without having to think a whole lot. Yeah. By the way, if you want to, check us out on the Better Business Bureau. We have an A-plus ranking after 22 years. Wonderful. A-plus ranking. If you look closely, you'll also notice we won the 2013 Porch Award, which is for businesses uh, doing business in an ethical manner. So we've got a lot behind our name when you're 22 years old. So let me jump into uh, the PowerPoint part of tonight. This is where we started in Greensboro, North Carolina. That was a big office, wasn't it? That was the rented home of the owners. You talk about one of those businesses that starts in the garage? That was us. What you see here is our, our world headquarters in Greensboro now, which houses over 500 employees, probably closer to 600 employees. Uh, there, and that's one headquarters. That's our world. We have headquarters in Mexico, uh, London, Spain, Taiwan, Hong Kong. Uh, for each country, that's just the world headquarters. So what we are is we're a product brokerage and internet marketing company, and I'm going to explain all these concepts that specializes in one-on-one -on -one marketing and social shopping. We're going to talk about each one of those uh, as we go through today. But when you take a look, sometimes people want to say, well, I want to know, I'll tell you what I want to know about this company when I looked at it. I wanted to make sure it was successful. Why? Because if I was going to put my time into anything, I want, and I'd say I put two to three years, even part-time, I wanted to get paid on it for a long time. I wanted to build something called ongoing and residual income. And I'm going to give you a big trick. You can only have ongoing or residual income if the company is solid and around for the next 10, 20, 30, 40 years. Because this is going to sound crazy as I start showing you the business, but there's things I did in 1997 that pay me today. Wow. How would you like to do something tomorrow that pays you in 2031? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right? That's why we're here. That's why we're here. Um, so here's the growth of the company since 2000. We've actually now have, have had 81 consecutive quarters of growth as a company. Now, were there any bad years in the economy along here? Yes. There's some, they said it was the worst time since the Great Depression. There was a period of four or five years. We didn't even have a down quarter as you take a look at that. Now you take a look and you see this page filling up. These are people who have earned in excess of a million dollars with the company in commission. Now, with that being said, there's almost 
400 people in here, all backgrounds, some with, uh, without a high school education, some without a college education, some with two degrees from college, some with uh, master's degrees. Uh, you, you can go on, you can see backgrounds. Uh, this is actually Lisa's sister right here, who was a director of nursing and went on to be a million dollar earner. Uh, 29 years in, in health care. You guys know, does anyone know any nurses? Yep. Yeah. 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 I mean, Lisa was a nurse for 15 years. 15 years of working full time as a nurse. She matched her income in one year doing this business part time while still working full time as a nurse. Wow. And then was able to walk walk away from that. So, um, you know, I'm proud of this, and I'm I'm really proud as we take a look. There's people who know Brett. Yeah, I like this one in particular. Right there. <laughs> but you know what I'm more proud of. Uh, is all the people earn an extra six hundred dollars a month, thousand dollars a month, two thousand dollars a month, three? How many people? How much would people would two thousand dollars extra a month coming in from a business help tremendously? You got to start with it, right? And that's where it, it starts with the companies doing business in the U.S., Canada, Mexico, Australia, Taiwan, Hong Kong, uh, United Kingdom, Singapore, and then opening up Spain actually in the next uh, month or two. So when you take a look, we actually started, we were pretty much just going to be a U.S. company. And it kept, it, we've kept growing. In fact, I think we've opened up one, two, three, four, five of those since I started with the corporate team three and a half years ago. So it is, we're, we're expanding. Why? Because people are asking. People are searching us out. They're looking for what we have because it's a what I call a sustainable model that works. 22 years and going strong. Uh, we have emerging markets in the Bahamas, Colombia, Dominican Republic, Ecuador, Panama, New Zealand, and Jamaica, which means we're open for business there, but not fully open yet. It's what we call an emerging market. Uh, I can't take any questions during only. And so if anyone who came in late, I'll take them afterwards. But I want to move time-wise and stay correct with so in case people have to leave and stuff like that, to, okay? You know, one of the things that's going on, though, that, that's a little bit scary. How many people know somebody who worked their whole life and they're 65 to 70 years old and don't have enough money to retire? My father. Yeah. A lot of people, right? A lot of parents, family members, people we know. Did they work hard? Yeah, they worked hard, they showed up for work, they did what they were supposed to. United States, richest country in the world, we have 95% of the people that struggle when they get there. They get, they're either still working, and this statistic, Andrew and I are actually going to be updating our statistics, because that's almost at 20% right now, still working at 65. Yeah. Which I'm okay with, if you want to work at 65, I think that's great. What I'm not okay with is most of the people aren't doing it because they want to, where are they doing it? Because they have to. And they're not working in the fields they worked in for 15 or 20 years. They're working jobs that don't pay them as much just to get something to get by. Uh, I want to know, I looked at this and said, I just want to know who are these people right here? How do you get the top 5%? How do you get to that area? Um, here's how you get top 5%. 74% of the people in the top 5% category own their own business. They own their own business. Now, with that being said, you have to own a business that does not own you. Right. How many of you know people own a business, but if they don't show up for work, they don't get paid? Of course. I mean, it's great that they're entrepreneurs. It's great that they own a business, but that means you have no leverage. And if you don't have any leverage, you're only as good as your last day of work. Uh, we, we, at least I have friends who have owned businesses who haven't taken vacations in six years, seven years, eight years, because they can't take a week off, because if they're not there that week, there's no money coming. So I, if we know that, what we really figured out that is 95% of the people are working hard five, six, seven days a week to make 5% of the people wealthy who figured out you got to own your own business and create leverage. So what I want to share with you today is a way you can become uh, someone who can create that kind of leverage and have that kind of option in your life because a lot of times it's not available for us. We have... With our, with our unfranchised business, we have what we call a two to three year business plan. Mm -hmm. Now that term unfranchised, for people who are guests, that's a, sort of an unusual term, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I mean, you've heard of a franchise. Uh, 
Uh, it's sort of like a cola and uncola. Uncola is a weird name, you know. Uh, but it, here's why we have it: because our franchising is standard is standardized. There's ways of doing things. Uh, there's uniform uh, ways of building the business. State-of-the-art management systems. Tomorrow morning, Lisa and I will wake up, check our computer system, go on the laptop, go into our back office. From that back office. Any orders placed by any customers and any orders placed by any business partners around the world will already be updated for us in the morning from the day before. Now here's the key, how much work did we have to do to input that? Uh, nothing is done by the company automatically. That's a big thing uh, to have to run our business. Um, merchandising and marketing tools, standardized training systems, potential tax advantages. Tax advantages of owning a business are absolutely tremendous. Uh, if you haven't looked up anything like this, I would recommend you get some information. A great source uh, is a book you can buy. And you can buy it from uh, your own website if you become a business partner at Books A Million uh, and get paid for it. It's called Lower Your Taxes Big Time. It's written by a former IRS attorney named Sandy Bodkin. And the reason I like it um, is because he's very straightforward. His first chapter says why you, you would be brain dead if you don't own a home-based business. Because he basically says you, you can't survive without one. Because it'll even it'll lower the taxes off of your regular job. His second chapter is how to deduct your vacations. So uh, I right he had me at chapter one and two. Okay. <laughs> Growing visibility. How many of you have never heard of this business until the last year, maybe? Okay, a lot of you, right? Okay. You know, we used to call it the best kept secret. Then there's a, a man, some of you, anyone know Fat Joe in the room? Fat yeah. oh, yeah. Joe said it's not going to be the best kept secret anymore. Uh, he said we're going to let everybody know, and I think he's doing a great job uh, doing that and, and, and teaching what is happening with our with our business. Start it part time, so you don't have to leave what you're, you're doing already. You can do it part time, minimal startup expenses. I started my business, and I always tell me you can basically start your business less than the cost to buy an iPhone 6 right now. I'll go through the prices, but uh, I mean, that, that's crazy without a two-year contract. Okay. <laughs> so to me, there's little risk involved in the business. Here, when I looked at it, it wasn't the money. I said, okay, I, I've spent more than that on uh, things that didn't pay anything. Uh, wasn't the time. I was already working 60 hours a week when I started this. My biggest risk to me was my reputation. If I was going to do it, and I was going to put my name out there, I wanted to make sure I was doing it with a good company. Because I figured, who am I going to introduce it to if I really like it? People I care about, people I want to be successful, uh, people that, the, the friends. And I want to make sure I had something good. So I can tell you 18 years later, it's one of the best decisions I've ever made. But I did my homework, too. I knew, because you couldn't, uh, you didn't have meetings like this when, you start, when I started. I went to a meeting, there were like um, maybe 18 people there. Nobody was making any, there wasn't somebody up front making $40,000 a month. There was somebody up front making, you know, $1,200 a month. There's a new company, new, new ways of things going on, right, Lee? So I think things were different, so a very big uh, difference. We have three ways you earn income. I already showed you cash back right away. Provide products, so we have exclusive products um, over a couple hundred of those products that you can then uh, market to end consumers. They can buy them off your website, they can buy them directly from you, and you make a retail profit when you do that. Because you buy them what we call an franchise owner price, and you sell it at a retail. The third way is by building teams of people. By building teams of people, you create leverage. And I'm going to talk more about that as we continue the presentation. So the slide says, which would you prefer? I always say, though, it's not which would you prefer, because most of us are already doing this one, aren't we? Right. So the question really becomes, does it make, is this one working well enough? No. And if it's not, then whether it's this or something else, you've got to make sure you find something. Because I'm going to tell you what you don't want to do. You don't want to wake up 10 years from now and still be doing the same thing that you just told me is not working today. So my question will be at the end of the night, does it make sense to add this on top of what you're doing? Could this be a way to generate some great extra income for you? And that's a good way to look at it. Now we're what you call a product brokerage company. You heard me say that earlier. That means we don't manufacture the products that we have. 
So on those exclusive products, a couple hundred we have, we work with manufacturers to make those for us. Why is that important? Because we can move from product line to product line with whatever's hot in the marketplace. We don't get stuck in one area with one product. It means, uh, that's our, the reason I believe we've had the 81 consecutive quarters of growth as a company. Because as things change, we move with it. Remember when I, I said when I started, how, much, how big of an internet presence did we have? Uh, none. Why do we have such a big presence now? Because did, did trends change in the last yeah, 10 years? Networking. And when they did, the owner of our company, the company, Peter Reiner, I mean, I remember him to this day talking about there's going to be a day people buy everything on the internet. I remember sitting like you're sitting right now and thought, this man has lost it. <laughs> <laughs> See, the problem was I didn't have the vision he had. He was seeing what was coming. I was seeing what was already there. And some of you have to change the way you're thinking. And he, I remember him saying, you know, these exclusive products are amazing. But he said, think about what's going to happen when we can offer everybody, everything to everybody that they already purchased. And they get paid for it. At that time, he told me that we had eight stores. Eight stores online. Now, 3,000 plus store, 40 million products um, online. In those exclusive products, in areas we have access to multi-billion dollar markets. So let me share, and I'll go through again. I could spend a tremendous amount of time with you on these different product lines, but I'm getting, tonight's an overview on this, okay? Lisa trained for yes. three, three and a half hours. Yeah. 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 Eight products in three hours, so I'm going to go through a couple hundred in uh, ten minutes. So this, is, this is not going to be in depth. This is going to be here's here's what we have, and then you can learn more. This is an isotonic line of vitamin supplements, which we have over 20 different supplements. An isotonic line means a powder-based vitamin supplement that you add with water. So if I were taking it, I would pour uh, a cap in. Oh, great. You want to show me one so I can at least show you? Thank you very much. All right. This is a, I won't do it right now. Just to show the bottle. And it's a, can, if you can hear it, you hear a shake in there. It's actually a powder. Okay that you would add to water. When you add it to water, you could then drink it, okay? What, why is it, thank you, why is it important to have something that you can drink versus pills with uh, fillers, binders, and coatings? With fillers, binders, and coatings, those have to be put together for shelf life. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. What I just showed you is a powder that it doesn't have to have those because it's distributed through us. It's a, it doesn't need a three-year shelf life, which means it gets into your system quicker because there are no binders, fillers, and coats. I don't know what just happened. Did I do anything? No. Catch you. You went into sleep mode? I wasn't moving enough? Catch you. We have a product uh, with Carmelo Anthony which is a Champion Blend product. The Champion Blend product is for people who are working out, or weekend warriors who work out as well. Uh, we have a product with Scotty Pippen, which helps for joint pain. Okay, Scotty, as you know, played basketball uh, a lot of years, ended up having some, some hand issues from uh, playing so long and helped us develop the product to help with that. So in an isotonic line, we also have children vitamins, you have a, you have a wide range. Now beyond that, we have an aloe juice product. Uh, has anyone ever gotten a cut or a burn and uh, put aloe on it? Okay. When I was a kid, my grandma had an aloe plant. If you, if you cut yourself or hurt yourself, she broke that little plant, put that stuff on there, and you felt better. We have an aloe juice, which is something you drink. Okay. Now, it doesn't taste like the aloe you put on your hand. Um, oh, good. We got some, you just got to... You mean to do it or you need to do I mentioned the weight and our mocha tonics, which we also have in cappuccino and vanilla uh, as well. This will move forward for me in just a second. We'll be at our heart health line, which is our omega-3. Anybody take omega-3 fish oils or know yes. the importance of it and how important it is for people? Uh, we also have a product, product called Coenzyme Q10 yes. in there, which is excellent. Here's our TLS line. Uh, that I was talking about. We also have a full program online to support you if you decide that's an area you want to 
want to work with it that you can also do from your mobile phone as well. Uh, these are some of the results you'll see right there. We have a Nutrimetrics line. People used to say to me years ago, if it's such a great line, why don't, why don't health professionals carry it? 2004, we started a health professionals program with the company, and that health professionals program is actually one of the fastest growing divisions that we've had over the years. Um, so this private label form, they uh, actually have a different website that their uh, patients or clients can go to, and the education on that, when they take the further education, actually will give them continuing education credits. It's at that high of a level for the health professionals uh, in that line. We have an age management line. Who would like to look younger, right? Feel, if not look, feel younger, right? So we have an entire line of age management products, including libido. We have a line of cosmetics, which I talked about before, our motives line and our motives by Lala. And you can see some of the, um, some of the press we've been getting about that cosmetic line and the way it's been growing. Then you take a look at the skincare, and as I mentioned, there's four different skincare lines, and the reason there's four different skincare lines is we all have different skin. So whether it's young, old, uh, whether it has acne issues, whatever it may be, you have the ability to use the different lines. And now we have a DNA baby line, uh, because again, is that an area we wanna make sure we have safe products for our yes. children? Yeah, so that line actually started with like two products, expanded now uh, to what you saw there. We have a hair care, line of products. I've used this Royal Spa line for probably 15, 16 years now. We have a home care line of products. We have a pet care line of products. So that's a $50 billion industry. And then we have a Conquer Entertainment line. We have a website development line. And we have a what we call Capital Resources uh, line, which is a wealth management line with that now. I could go into detail on every one of those. In fact, some of them are we do three, four hour trainings on each division. All I want you to understand tonight is what if you know somebody who loves to talk about websites? Could that person be in your business? Yes. Yes. What, if they love, what if they love cosmetics and skincare? Could they be in your business? Yes. About nutrition. Yes. And, and again, they don't have to do all of them. People always ask me, what was your favorite thing when you started the business? You know what my favorite thing was? The business. <laughs> I, I had taken products for seven months, but I loved showing how the business yeah. worked and how people could make money with it and how they could work in different areas to be able to do that. We already went online and took a look at a lot of the things uh, you see here. But again, you see the social networking, the shop buddy I talked about, the cashback. Guess what our number one store for cashback is? Match.com. Match.com. How many of you would like to, to get paid for these? Yeah. Right? <laughs> Can't take it no questions <laughs> <laughs> uh, By the way, one thing, one thing I didn't mention. Oh, that got a response. Yeah. <laughs> nothing. But being nothing, but get paid for dating, yes. <laughs> Legally. Um, there's a. some of our, our friends who become customers, we show them how to save money, right, with cash back. Yeah, right. And, and that, we also get a half percent of their cash back when they earn it. So by saving them money, we also get a little compensation for doing it as well because we're sort of the referral mechanism of doing that. Right. Here's some of the stores you're going to recognize uh, that we deal with online. Again, this is just about 24 to 3,000, but it'll give you some ideas. Um, you can see if you shop at any of these places or have shopped uh, at any of these places in the past. As we go into uh, the holiday season, you see the, whether it be office supplies or, or the electronics, toys, and games division um, that you may shop at already. What you start to realize is there's a lot of ways you can make some money with what we do online. Now, we've taken all those things and we've added technology to help with it, whether it be Shop Buddy, which we've already talked about. Uh, whether it be putting that on a mobile platform so that you can run your business from a mobile standpoint, or whether that be something we call a shopping advisor, which allows you to go through and pick what products am I using right now in my home that I can transfer over, would I save money, and do I put these into my business to generate more money? So the 
technology is all there. <laughs> See, like, it is a good thing I know my stuff. I got things falling over. <laughs> Everybody, you remember 10 years ago, most people weren't doing a lot of shopping online. Now, people do shopping from their phone online all the time. Um, owning your own business, more people doing it are, are less. More. 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 Two major reasons. One is technology has made it so much easier. And the second reason, though, is because people have done the work two jobs, work three jobs, and they all they've ended up being is tired. <coughs> you know, I'm, I'll tell you guys, I'm a big fan of trends. I was very lucky at an early age I learned about them. I work for a company not far from here called Russ Berry. I don't know if anyone, it was in Oakland, New Jersey. It was a giftware company. I came out of college, went right to work for them, and then we'd go in and we would sell products to Hallmark stores, to hospital gift shops, to anywhere that had products, okay? Now when that happened, um, in 1992, same year Market America started, that company came out with one of the ugliest products I thought I'd ever seen. It was called a Troll Doll. Anybody yeah. ever told about yeah. Had hair, went straight up like that. I bet the owner said these were big in the 60s. Go out and talk to the stores and see what happens. So we went out and we talked to them. Guess what? That became the biggest trend in the giftware industry for about two, three years. The company I worked at was 30 years old. They went from their best year ever was $277 million. The next year after those silly trolls came out, it went to $440 million in one year. My income, imagine whatever you're making today, take your income and double it mm -hmm. and add another half. How many of you would say that would make a good year next year? Oh, yeah. yeah. But now you work two less days a week. So if you're working five, you now work three. Because I had things people wanted, and I could do more on an hour on the phone than I used to do in a day going out and seeing people. So I fell in love with trends. I understood what they were. But Trends, you have to understand, can trends have a downside? So here I am, I'm loving trolls, I built a new house, I want to put a troll fountain in it, <laughs> best thing in the world, suddenly a product called Beanie Babies came out. Anyway, when Beanie Babies came out, you could not sell a troll to save your life. Here's the problem, the company I worked for was a manufacturer, this is the point of this story. As a manufacturer, where was all their money? Because if you just making a product, nobody wanted it in machinery that nobody wanted to use because the product was, was, was gone. Had I been with a company like Market America, you know what we would have done? We would have moved from Trolls and Beanie Babies. Right. Because when, when Beanie Babies came out, my income went from here to here. Has anyone ever had that, that personally, but you seen that happen to anybody? Yeah. So you know what I did? Second point of the story, I said, I'll work it. I'll work nights, I'll work weekends, I'll do whatever it takes. Because when you start living here, you like to be here, oh, sure. not here. So I worked nights, I worked weekends, I couldn't get it back up to here. So there's two points. One, one is you want to look for a company that can move with trends, as we do, that's what we do. And second, don't tell me it's all about hard work. Because I'm going to tell you, yes, it's important you work hard, but if you, work, if you don't work smart when you work hard, you'll just end up tired and broke. <laughs> okay. So you got to work hard and work smart at the same time. And that's what we're talking about here because we're talking about creating leverage. Fourth trend we have right here is social media. Again, you go back 10 years ago, probably most of you didn't have, weren't even on social media. I'm going to bet you right, how many of you right now are on more than one social media platform? Okay, so you have two, three, four. Okay, let me ask you, this is one of my favorite questions. You say, well, the times really change. How many of you still get a newspaper? A, a physical newspaper. Every morning, 4.30. You get six of them. Six of them. Every morning. How many of you wake up and you get your news from social media going online? Yeah. 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 Now, why would I ask you that question? Ten years ago, what would, this whole room probably got a physical. How you, what if you were the best newspaper salesperson in the world right now? <laughs> Wouldn't matter, would it? Because it's, it's, it's a dying industry. What if you were great at selling payphones? <laughs> Do you guys even remember what a payphone is? What is that? A payphone, for those of you who might know your people here, a payphone is something you used to put coins into to make a phone call. Now, you guys are laughing. I got 
got to tell you, the year I started this business, guess what I looked into? They used to sell payphone routes. Yeah. Yeah. Because you would go and you'd collect the money. You could make some good money doing that. I didn't do it because I saw a trend dying there. I mean, that's where I go. These trends are so important to understand. And that's what we go after. With social media, with what I showed you by just that one post I put out, we can take social media, online shopping, we can take high tech, add high touch to it. Uh, we, we can reach millions of customers quick. And we match people with products, products to people. One of the things we're working on as a company on our site is the ability when your customers come to the site, it automatically recognizes them and customizes the site to them based on prior purchases. Nice. Do you think that would help them buy more if it already recognizes what you... And you've seen this before, right? Sometimes you buy something and it automatically pops down and says other people bought this as well. Yes. Yeah. But, but how about if right when they went to the site, every after they purchased once, it's already popping up for them. Now I've talked about our products, I've talked about what we do online. Now I'm going to start to talk about what we do as a, a business. And you know, there's a, a structure that's been out there for years. And if we took you, wherever you work at corporately, if you work in a job right now, and we drew out the corporate structure, it probably looks like this, doesn't it? There's typically an owner, there's typically some people who work for the owner, and some people who work for the people who work for the owner, and as it goes down, it gets wider. Doesn't it? And people make less money. Would this person here ever make more than this person? No. no. Never. In fact, do these people a lot of times compete to get ahead? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I worked in a company. My bonuses were based on beating the other three vice presidents. Right. Mm -hmm. How much do you think we share? Nothing. Nothing. You're going to take money out of my family if I share. Yeah. Okay, now that doesn't make sense to me. Nothing wrong with this structure, but it doesn't make sense when you can't, can't work together. JR took this, the uh, owner of our company took this structure and said, what if we turn it on its side? What if we can set up a structure that built vertically instead of horizontally? What if the person here could out earn the person here if they did a better job? If you're a guest here tonight, I'll tell you the number one question. I, first time I looked at this, I said I only have one question. Can I make more than you? To the guy showing it to me. And he said, yes, you can. I said, great, then let's keep talking. Now, it's funny, because that's what my mindset was, because I was looking at a business. What was in a job interview? Sat down, boss is talking to me, I said, can I make more than you? They say, well, no. Get out. I'm out of here, this is a pyramid. <laughs> Have you guys ever thought about those things in your head? See, I think about this stuff. I wanted to be able to make more if I did a better job. And I hope you as a guest want to make more than the person who brought you here. Because if you do better, you should. But boy, in life, I've seen a lot of times people do a better job than someone they work for and they don't make as much. Right. So, yeah. so here, it's, it's a level playing field. We work together, we compound efforts, and I'll show you exactly how this works as I take you five steps to building this business plan. First step is to apply. When you apply, you can apply in one of two ways. You can apply as a sales rep, there's no cost, buy your product at a uh, franchise owner cost, and earn that retail profit I talked about. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this because it misses two key categories. One is you can't create any leverage as a sales rep. The leverage is key. You've got to get paid on more than what you do. And for those of you, don't raise your hand, but if there's anybody in the room who does not know what leverage is, I have horrible news for you. It means you're probably somebody else's leverage, right? Yeah. Because they don't tell you when you're their leverage. Uh, what do I mean by that? Leverage means if you work tomorrow, you go, you get up, you go to work, it's Thursday, you work eight hours. Instead of getting paid on eight hours, who would be excited to get paid on 80 hours? Me. That means you have leverage. Yeah. How about 800 hours? Yeah. Lisa and I might get paid on 8,000 hours tomorrow. You say, that's crazy, how can that be? I, well, let's bring it back to traditional business. Person owns a business, has 10 employees. They work eight hours tomorrow. The owner goes golfing. <laughs> Does the owner still get 80 hours of leverage? Yes. So it's not that crazy a concept. It's just the only way you could get it before was employee to employer. I'm talking business owner to business owner. I'm talking about giving leverage as well as getting leverage. 
So those are key, key components to think about. Second thing as an unfranchised owner, you have the ability to create an ongoing income. And I mentioned before, this was one of my most important things. Um, I, I've made money in my life, I've worked hard, but I was always worried if I stopped working, if I got hurt, if I got sick, my money was going to stop coming in. This was always based on me. I, mean, I can look at you right now and say, if Lisa and I didn't work the rest of the year, our income, would, uh, the point is right now, would be climbing compared to last year. Mm -hmm. Even if we didn't work one more day because of what we've got in place and have put in place for the last seven years. What if we didn't work all of 2015? If we met minimum requirements, I'm going to show you in the business, we would out earn probably what we made in 2014, 2013, or 2012, or 2011, or 2010, because of what we put in place. That's an ongoing income. Our business is in our uh, will to our children. So if something happened to us, the business gets passed to them, and by meeting certain minimum requirements, we're going to show you, they continue to get paid that money. I feel like that would be substantial to have a business get forty thousand a month if you will to your children. Wow. I mean, uh, I'm going to tell you that's a big for us. I'll tell you what it is. It's peace of mind. It's um, you can go to sleep and know your family is going to be taken care of no matter what. So those are the reasons I'm going to talk about being an unfranchised owner. As an unfranchised owner, there's a, subscri a subscription fee of one hundred and twenty nine dollars and ninety five cents. I'm going to show you. What comes in that subscription fee uh, on the next slide? You still get to buy your products at unfranchised owner cost um, and sell them at retail, but now you get to earn commissions on top of the retail profit. And that's where the commissions create the ongoing income. So what do you get when you start? Now, one thing I didn't go into, I showed you shop.com. I didn't show you, you also get a Motives Cosmetic site, you get an Isotonic site, you get a TLS Slim site, you get a back, back office that tracks everything, you get a site to bring people to to learn about the company, you get a Get Conquer site, and you get a global site that ships to over 180 customers. How much would it cost you to put that together with 3,000 stores, 40 million products, and 200 exclusive products on your own? That's part of starting here, but all of it. And each one is a unique ID name for you. So mine is shop.com forward slash Winkler. That's my last name, Jim Winkler. So I have a motivescosmetic.com forward slash Winkler. Now people say, well, what's, you care if he's got a Motives Cosmetics site? Here's why I care. We've probably uh, brought into the business, partnered with this year, five, six, or seven people whose entire focus was cosmetics. <laughs> doesn't matter whether I know everything or not, because I don't. What I can do is I can get them to that site, and everything I need is right on there. I can answer some questions, and then I can get them in touch with a teammate who knows a lot more than me. Because part of being successful is having a good team, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So, that, and by the way, this unfranchise.com, this back office that we have, that costs Lisa and I $5 a week to have, $20 per month, okay, to track everything to run our business. Now let me ask you a question, any traditional business owners in the room? Do you spend more than $20 a month on overhead? Of course. What would $20 get you? No. Would it turn the light on? No. So would it do anything? It doesn't do anything. Here, $20 runs, that's our, that's our overhead to run our business. Don't eat um, paper. Yeah, that wouldn't even barely buy paper for you, right? Yeah. That's, an ink, that's an ink cartridge. Yeah. With ink cartridge. Yeah. <laughs> buy it through shops.com. Uh, you'll also get a career manual from the company, a getting started guide, which tells you what to do your first week, your first month, your first year, an unfranchised magazine, which is periodical that'll come every other month, a preloaded MP4 device with over 160 training programs for you to listen to right off the bat. A training and seminar system that I think is second to none. And, and, and I'm going to tell you, this was a big thing for me. My background was training. I know that if you don't have a business where people can get trained, you're going to have to do it all yourself. Mm -hmm. And if you have to do it all yourself, you will never have time to make the, the leverage and the kind of money you want to. We have a system in place. And I'm, I'm going to say this for the people in this room. You're in the best area of the country right now to build this business. Lisa and I were online. We were looking up what you have going on for, for seminars to train people, what you have in your, in, right here on a weekly basis, what you have between New Jersey, 
uh, New York, uh, and all the things. And there's no other part of the country that has what I'm going to tell you right now. You can't build it here. You can't build it. Okay. Oh. This is this is the place to do it with the team to do it with. But with all that being said, I'm going to tell you something. We train people. At that training, we tell them, don't invite people to something like this unless you like them. So if you're here as a guest, guess what that means? Somebody at least sort of likes you. <laughs> I'm not going to say like they love you, but they, they don't dislike you. The second thing we train is only invite people you think can be successful. Why, why only people we think can be successful? You're running and operating your own business. You want to pick people that can be successful in that business. So again, if you're here and you're not sure why someone asked you, they probably see something in you you don't see in yourself yet, or they know something about this business that they feel would be, would be a, a good match for you from a success standpoint. So all those things when you start your business, and coaching and mentoring by experienced unfranchised owners is another part of it. Having a team of people uh, to help you. In this room tonight, you have more power than most places ever have across the, the country. I'm going to tell you that. You, you got Andrew Weissman. There's four vice presidents in the company. You got Andrew in the back as one of the other vice presidents. <laughs> great leader, great trainer. He's here on a regular basis helping out in the area and, and really teaching it and, and growing with that. Um, you, you've got uh, Bishop Jordan, who's probably breaking the record. And that's, but that, and that's important for all of us, isn't it? There's great leaders, though, not just here, throughout the country, which also means you have the ability as you grow, because your business will expand to different areas, and it's good to know you have leadership everywhere that you're going to be able to build with and have great leadership here. Now, let me go back to, to what we do, those five steps. The second step is to create what we call business volume or incentive business volume, or what we call internet business volume. And think of this like a point total. Remember when I was holding up that OPC3 product? That product was one of our exclusive products. Any of the exclusive products run anywhere from 70 to maybe 85% BV ratio to dollar. Spend $100 on products, get somewhere between 70 and 85 business volume points. The reason there's a margin in there is it depends what, what category you're buying from. Health and nutrition is normally around 80%. Uh, cosmetics can be as high as 90, 95% sometimes. We have a Lumiere de V line in our skincare line where there's a 100% uh, item in there. Um, so it, it just varies what line you're ordering from. Our internet business volume, and that's all those stores we talked about, that can be 1%, 2%, 4%. There's, no, there's not much margin with Walmart. There's not much margin with a Best Buy, but it probably averages out at 5 or 6%. So less percent, remember 70 to 85, 4 to 6 percent, but can you buy everything from here? Mm -hmm. So these are two separate compensation plans that are going to pay you. So when I go through this, I want you to there's four ways you're going to get paid. One way, cash back when you shop online. Second way, retail profit when you buy an exclusive product and you sell that exclusive product. Third way, the points associated with all those products that are exclusive 
Fourth way, the products that come from the internet business line from buying online. <clears throat> How do we create them? By using our own products. To me, that's the simplest part of the business. Um, when I started, I was using three products as a customer. I just looked, remember we, we, I showed hair care and laundry detergent on there? That to me is like not the sexy part of the business. <laughs> you know, use laundry detergent, yippee, right? But here's what is using a product that I've used for 17 years and it's paid me for 17 years and I was buying from somewhere else. Does that mean? See, that's, to me, that is sexy. That's a great area <laughs> to, to take what you're spending now and get paid on it yes. on an everyday basis. So personal use is a big thing. Uh, buying online from shop.com, a lot of you said I shop online. Now you're getting paid for it. We can set our customers that we have up on an auto ship program. So what if I had somebody who loved the products we have? Could I set them up so it ships from Greensboro? Greensboro charges their credit card. I get the retail profit and I get the points. But all I have to do is set them up and they can ship every 30, 60, 90 days. I, I love that program because it means I, I, I can handle, I don't have to handle much inventory. I can have it shipped if I need to do that from the company. We do have a retail sales requirement of $200 in 90 days. So we have to sell to an end consumer $200 of exclusive products in a 90 uh, day basis. Now, let me break that down for you. When I was taking products from Allen, I was taking that OPC3 bottle I showed you. That product retails for $69.95. It's 90 servings. We took one a day in the last three months. For my allergies, I took two. A day. So it lasted me 45 days. So on a, in a 90 day basis, in a quarter, I went through two bottles. Mm -hmm. So at retail, that would be $140, right? Mm -hmm. Which means if you had two customers like me, who once I started the product, I'm never going to go off it because I don't like taking medications. I love something that's natural, I feel better. You now have $280 in retail sales with one product with two customers. I just want to break it down because sometimes people hear $200 and they don't know how much that is. It's basically nothing is what it is. But you do have to sell some products to an end consumer. You can do it through internet marketing, social media, one-to-one -one marketing, sitting down with people. All those ways move, move product. Uh, you guys want to have fun tomorrow when you go out and you're working and doing stuff. Take, take your phone and on the notes, write down a little note every time somebody complains tomorrow. If they complain about their back hurting, Headaches, weight, um, stress, they're tired. Whoa, in the morning. See if anyone's tired. Okay. Just put a little check mark. And the reason I'm telling you this, a guy told me to do this. By noon, I called him up. I'm like, back then it wasn't on my phone. I did it on a piece of paper. I said, I filled up a piece of paper by noon. I said, everybody's complaining today. And you know what he said to me? He said, today is the first day you could really listen because you had something that could help them. He said, you were never listening before. Mm -hmm. And that's really what you're going to find out when you start listening. You're going to hear all these different things. See if anybody complains about the money they make. <laughs> the vacations they don't get to take. Mm -hmm. Their boss. Staying home after work. Uh, see if anybody complains that they're now doing two jobs, but getting paid the same amount or less than when they did one. Uh, you'll, fill up your, you'll fill up your phone. I filled up a piece of paper. All right, well, our goal is to find 10 customers. So of those people, you know what he told me? I said, well, what do I do? It's great. I have this piece of paper with people complaining. What do I do? He said, ask the next one who says it to you, are you serious? So the next person who complained, I said, are you serious? They said, yes. I said, I may have something that could help you. Do you want to learn about it? And that's how I started moving products and doing things. It wasn't some difficult thing to be able to do. Third step is qualifying a business with 200 business volumes. So this is what's called a business development center. That is a spot on a computer system in Greensboro, North Carolina that tracks everything that goes into your business. Simple way to think of it, it's a spot that tracks everything, okay? You qualify it with an opening order of 200 BV. You can pick and choose whatever products you want, or you can uh, do what we call a fast start program, which I'll show you here in a second. So here's my recommendation to everybody in the room. If it opens those banks up to accumulate the points, would it make more sense to qualify your business right off the bat? Yes. So that you can accumulate points right off the bat. So that's what we want to do. Best way to do that is with what we call a fast start program. 
We have four different Fast Start programs. We have the Shop.com Fast Start program, some of our best nutritional products, as well as everything that comes uh, that you see there. And uh, probably about a $650 value, $399 plus tax, free shipping. If you were into the websites, you can do a website Fast Start. If you were into the cosmetics, you can do a, a Modus Cosmetics Fast Start, either Modus by Lauren or Modus for Lala, or you can do it, if you're into the TLS, you can do a TLS Fast Start. So we've broken it into some of the divisions with that. But that now allows you to accumulate points. I'm going to break this down real quick because people say to me, what's it really take to get started, Jim? So if you want to get started and you want to qualify your business, you do a $399 Fast Start Kit, that's a one-time order. Doesn't mean, you don't do $3.99 every month, I want to clarify that, okay? You retail $200 per quarter. $200 per quarter, just like we talked about, right? 10 consumers. The way I would recommend that is we're gonna work on getting 10 customers, just like we showed on the slide. Now let me ask you a question. If these guys here, these seven people here, are my customers and they like the product, if you guys like the product, would you order it again? Yes. Did you notice everything we have is consumable? Which means you use it and it's gone in 30 days, 60 days, or 90 days. So if I have seven customers, I'm creating a consumable product. Or least, our, our best customer for Lisa and I was my first customer, October of 1997. How would you like to get an order for every 30 days or 40 days for 17 years from so so 10, if I had 10 customers doing $50, that would be $500 in retail. That would be about $130 in retail profit. Okay, and that's some nice retail profit, but I'm showing you this for a reason. Because on your third month, we're going to start what we call our unfranchised auto ships. So third month, you're going to start an auto ship. You're going to pick. By then, we're going to figure that you're probably going to know which products you like. Would you think that would make sense after 90 days to have a good idea? You'll pick the products you like. You'll put them on the auto ship. Anywhere from 50 to 150 business volumes of product. Anywhere from 10 to 30 incentive business volumes of product. And then remember I said that back office is going to be $20? Yeah. So your total cost is going to be somewhere between $110 to $130 to run a business per month, what do you get for that? I want to make sure everyone got it. Do you get product? Yeah. Can you retail that and get that money right back? Yeah. yeah. And if you have your customers here, have you already covered that cost? Yeah. Okay, so you're basically running a business on a profit basis if we do this right, right from the beginning, which is how I like to teach people to run uh, a business. Once a year, at the end of the 12 months of being in the business, there's an annual renewal for $99.95. Why do I share all that with you? Because a lot of times people say, well, Jim, I just want to know, what, what are the real costs if I get started? Those are your real costs if you get started. Anything else you pay for would be training, do, going to a, a, a seminar, doing stuff like that. But that's what the business takes to run. So what can you get for running that business? Let's go into how it works. Once we've qualified it or once we want to activate it, activating it means we can earn commissions. Okay, so we've made retail profit from day one, we've earned cash back from day one, we've accumulated points from day one if we've qualified it. We now want to earn commissions. It really should say expand. So what we want to do is we want to identify two people to work with us. Okay, two people minimum to start with. Who's a guest here? Again, yeah, we'll let me talk to them. Can you let me talk to you? Sure. What's your name? Stacy. Stacy, good to meet you. I won't pick on you. What's your name? Luke Selston, nice to meet you. He's guest too. Stacy, let's say sometime in the future. Who invited you here tonight? All right. So you got you got your guy here you're working with. So let's say you decide it's something you want to do. He's gonna coach you. One of the things he's gonna say is he's gonna say, Can you identify a couple people you like? Can you give me two first names only? Karen. Karen? And um, Stephen. Karen and Stephen. Okay, now most people expect right now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say, you know what, you're going to call up Karen, you're going to say, I found this amazing business online, uh, and she's going to say, just put me in it. Here's what I'm going to tell you. That is not how it typically works. I'm going to tell you it's going to be the opposite. He might call up Karen, he might say, Karen, I found this business, I really want it. She might say, whoa, 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 whoa. look, no promises. Some of you can't hear that way, right? He might call up Stacy. You might call up it was Karen and Stephen. Stephen might call up Stephen, 
And Stephen may be worse. Stephen may be like, whoa, did you sit in the front row? You were hypnotized. Did you drink the water? They put stuff in there. You were hypnotized by an amazing speaker from Wisconsin. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I say that to a guest, to all the guests in the room? You gotta be realistic. I'd rather you hear it. I walked out my first presentation. I called my sister up. This is my baby sister. She's done everything I've ever asked her in my life. I shot her with a BB gun when I was a kid to see how it worked. Okay, one pump, it wasn't hard. It's the same. If you had a BB gun, you know what I'm talking about. So she does everything, right? I call her up. Her name's June. I say, June, I've started a business. She's a single mom, two young kids, going back to school. I'm thinking this is gonna be great, right? I get five minutes into it, she says, I am going to hang up on you and never talk to you again if you say one more word. <laughs> she goes, those things don't work. I did one. I go, what things? I don't know what you did. This is not a thing. And she goes, it is to me. And that was it. I was crushed. Now, my sister has been in my business 17 years. Because here's what happened. She was a migraine sufferer. So as I, got, as I learned a little bit about products, I said, why don't you try this B-complex and OPC3? I met a lady, she had great results. She tried a couple of the products, she had great results. Then she became a business owner and has gone on to do pretty well with it. So that can change, but I would rather you know it up front. People ask me or Lisa, how do we build so fast? How do we replace our income in one year? How do we do, you know, everybody who is negative or skeptical, I said, you gotta do me one favor, look at it. Take one hour, look at this business. If it's not for you, I'll never bug you again. But see, you know what most people say to me after they see what I'm about to show you? Boy, that's different than I thought it was gonna be. Mm -hmm. So you have to get them to look at it. That's a, the simple part. So that's what we're gonna do, all right, Stacy? And really, I went through all that to teach you that, but the second reason I did it is because I didn't have time to put their names in the computer, okay? <laughs> so we've got a left and a right. For those of you who are gonna get confused as I go through the rest of this, I wanna keep this really simple. You are going to have a left and a right side of your business. Can you remember that? Yes. Left and a right side. Yes. And it starts with two. Lady who trained me, because I got all mixed up with the numbers, she said, Jim, do you know your left from your right? Can you count to two? If you do, I'll teach you the rest. <laughs> How many would pass right now? <laughs> all right, I passed. And it's gone on to make seven minutes. So let's learn it together in the future, all right? What do we do from here? But, by the way, the, the gentleman that brought you that's sitting there seems like a nice guy. How hard has he worked the last hour? <laughs> <laughs> He's awake. That's a bonus. <laughs> Here's what I'm saying. How many of you, you sort of, right? How many of you think you could do what he's done the last hour? Yes, absolutely. What's he doing right now? Uh, he's leveraging. What's he leveraging? He's leveraging me, and he's leveraging the system we have. See, this is important to understand because a lot of times people think, well, I like what it looks like, but I don't want to do it all on my own. Is he doing it all on his own tonight? No. No, neither are you. You're going to have a team of people to work with. That's important to understand, okay? So we're going to do the same with Mark and Kate. In fact, the fastest movers I've ever had in this business, I call them professional introducers. What they did is they introduced people who knew about the business uh, to people that they didn't know yet and let the people who knew what they were doing share it while they took notes and learned. So if Stacy's taking notes and learning, he may have a business starting to grow as he's introducing people to it. And it won't grow exactly like this. Some will grow faster, some will go slower, but it starts to take off and it starts to sort of take on a life of its own. Because here's one of the things a lot of you are thinking right now, well, I only know so many people. Well, let me ask you a question. If I only knew this gentleman here, do you think he might know two or three hundred people I don't know? Mm -hmm. Yes. And if I only knew this young lady here, do you think she might know two or three hundred people I don't know? Mm -hmm. So suddenly what's happening? Now I've got five hundred people I don't know. How many do I have to find to start making this business do really well? Yeah. Yeah. A couple to start it. Okay, so keep this simple. Now, if you're like me, Stacy, I was sitting there like two. I'd find two tomorrow. I got people who want more time or more money. So my question is, where does a third go? Where does a fourth go? Where does a fifth go? Where does a sixth go? I thought third would go here, fourth would go here, fifth, because that's how in the corporation, if I hired a new manager, it didn't help the first two. 
you got to change your thinking now to everything is vertical. Mm -hmm. So if he introduces a third person, let's say he introduces Matt, he might put Matt down below into the business. Matt comes down here. Anyone Matt identifies, anyone Matt introduces any customers, all that volume goes to Dr. Jones, Chris, Mark, comes back to Stacy and goes to Stacy's team. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you a question. Do you think all these people might want to help Matt? Yes. Yeah. Here's a simple way to think of it. You go to work tomorrow. Boss comes up to you. Boss says, hey, we hired somebody new. I need you to train them. Has anyone ever heard that? Yes. What if they said, do a good job because we're going to pay you a percentage on what they earn for the rest of their career. How many of you would be like, this one's mine. I'm going to train them. I'm going to work with them. And how many might say, how about another one tomorrow? I am your new trainer. Right? And that's what, see, I didn't have any time when I started this. What I did do is I knew people. So I figured if I could build teams of people, and they had a financial interest in helping the people I introduced, it would come back to help all of us. And that's what eventually got my time back. Fourth person, Stacy, you might put the fourth person over here. You might put a fifth person, but we would coach you on what to do in the beginning because you're not going to know right away. But that's how the business grows. It's building vertical and people are leading to people and volumes coming up. Now what we do as a company is every day we search that business and we look for volume. So each day it searches down and Ashley's in your business, you may not even know her. She might live in North Carolina, you never met her. Maybe she lives in Alabama, maybe she lives in Texas. She places a 300 BV order, that volume goes to Travis, it goes to Chris, it goes to Mark, and it comes back to you. 100%. She gets all of her own retail profit, but if she orders or one of her customers orders 300 business, whatever number that is, 100 business volumes, each person gets 100% of that credit. That is a big point. There's no percentages and there's no levels. Here's what that said to me. To make a lot of money, I'm either going to have a lot of people doing a little bit, and it's all going to add up to support each other, or what if I find what if I find someone like me? I couldn't sleep after I got this compensation. I just wanted to talk to people. What if I find one person in here? Could that build an entire organization? And then, do I have to find them? What if Stacy finds somebody who finds somebody who finds that person who can't sleep like I could? Does he get 100% credit on whatever they generate? Do you guys get, this is a big point I want you to get right now because it's, it's building 100% up. This is a disclaimer. Here's what the disclaimer says. If you don't do any work and you don't follow the system, you might get lucky and make a little money, but you probably won't make a lot. Is that fair enough for everybody? You can obviously read it. It's much longer than that. But there's a, the way we do a business and it takes some effort. Every day, commissions are, are volumes calculated. Company searches to infinity. Friday night at midnight, Eastern time. Here's what happens. <clears throat> Company looks at Stacy's business. When he gets to 1,200 and 1,200 business volume points on each side, so remember the left and right side, he gets a $300 commission from the company. 1,200 and 1,200. Did he have to generate all those points on his own? No. No. I mean, what if he had four new people who started with a 300 BB fast start kit? Would that be 1,200 points? Just with four new people starting. What if he had, what if Robert here is a medical professional and orders 1,200 point, 1,200 BB for his patients? Does Stacy get 100% credit on that? Yeah. Well, what if Cheryl's a makeup artist and sells 600 BB of cosmetics? Does he get credit on that? Yeah. What if he doesn't understand how to put a foundation on? Does it matter? Yeah. I can tell you, I'm vice president of the company and I can't tell you about a lot of our products. That's okay, guys. Find people. The reason we have divisions is so you can find people who have a specialty in those divisions to work those, okay? Do you think some of these people, i, I got to give you one more point. What if he doesn't get there in one week? What if he's at 800 and 600 points? Volume just sits there, and next Friday it checks again and adds up anything new. What if he doesn't get there in one month? Volume just sits there and it adds up anything new. 365 days your volume adds up on it. This is a really big point, because some of us are part, most of us can be part-time, right? Next three months, do you think anybody will be shopping online at Stacy's business? Yeah. Yeah. You talk about a good time to look at a business? 
So when they shop online, when he gets 1,200 and 1,200 of those IBV points, he gets a $300 commission in that compensation plan. Remember I said there were two, two different ones. So they can move at different paces. And this is like a bank account stage. Those volumes just stay there. When you get 1,200 and 1,200 more, you get another $300 check if you don't want them. When you get 1,200 and 1,200 more, you get another $300 check and either one of them. What if Stacy's team is really getting big now? What if he goes from zero to 3,600 in one week? He get 900 in commissions for doing that. So if you do it all in one week, you get the whole thing, okay? Last step in the pay plan is when he goes uh, 1,400 more, he gets a $600 commission. So going from zero to 5,000, he has earned $1,500 in BV. When he goes zero to 5,000 in the IBV, he can earn $1,500 in IBV. They operate separately. What if the BV gets there first? It'll reset on Saturday, and the IBV will just keep growing until it gets to five and five, and then it'll reset and start over. Okay? Does that make sense to everybody? All right. As this organization grows, I want you to think about it. first time I came here, we had maybe 10, 15 people. So if all 10 or 15 people did 50 BV, let's say there were 10 people and they did 50 BV, that would be 500 BV, right? Well, tonight, what do we have? Let's say, let's say we had 100 people in here and they did 50 BV. Same amount, little amount, right? How much BV just went into the business? 5,000. Was it anybody doing more, or was it just more people doing a little bit, adding up to a whole lot? That's what I want you to understand from a business standpoint. All of a sudden, Stacey, here's what's going to happen. Your business is going to start to go through this pay cycle faster and faster. All right, so what if it took you six months first time you went through here and $1,500 or so? That's not a lot of money. But what if the next time it took four months? What if the next time it took three months? You're still working only 10 to 15 hours a week. Now you're making 500 a month part time. What if the next time it took two months? Now you're making 750 a month, not including any of the IBV working part time. What if the next time it took one month? Now you got 1,500 a month coming in. You're still working part time. Your business is just getting stronger. And then it can get to the point it goes zero to 5,000 in two weeks, zero to 5,000 in a week. Lisa and I have three businesses that go zero to 5,000 in one week. Whether we're in New York, whether we're on vacation, whether we live in Wisconsin, because of the teams we've built and the success those teams are having, okay? So you have Stacy also. What if, what if one side was stronger than another? Can that happen when you have two sides? Okay, Stacy, does Stacy have the ability to place new people down on a, a weaker side? Yes. Now the other thing Stacy has is the ability to place volume down below. So let's say Stacy's a good retailer or uses a lot of products, he's got place an order for 400 business volumes. Stacy, you can actually place that volume down into anyone you personally introduce and you give them those 400 points. Now if you're a guest, you're saying, why would he do that? Because then Dr. Jones gets them, Chris gets them, Mark gets them, and you get them anyway. But because you can put them down into people you've personally introduced, you now gave that volume and it, it helped everybody. It's a big point. And then you might say, next time I need volume over here, you can put it and help it with Erica. Does that make sense? Yeah. So you have the ability to place that volume down below. One of the things the company put in here was the ability for Stacy to make bonuses too. And this gets a little confusing, but basically every time he gets to 5,000 and 5,000, the company does a vertical search down the left and right side of his business. It looks to see, is there one person on the left or one person on the right uh, that earns, that gets to 5,000 and 5,000 the same week you do. If there is one on the left and one on the right, you get a $600 bonus. So I'm going to keep it really simple. Don't worry about the numbers. Does Stacy make more money if his people are successful? Yes. Yeah. That, that's how I, I just looked at it. So, okay, so what it's saying is if I help my people become successful, I make more money for doing what I should be doing anyway. So that means one business, Stacy, maxes out $3,600 a week. That's $187,000. How many people, if you could make $3,600 a week and it maxed out, you'd be okay with it? How many would say I want more? All right. This was me. I had somebody once, I was doing it, they yelled out, it's not fair to put a cap on it. And I said, go to work tomorrow. Talk to them about the cap. 
Right. Okay? Because here's what we do. We put a cap on one business, but we give you the ability to have more than one. When you start, when Stacy started, I didn't even say it, but Stacy, this is actually your first business, and you got two others we didn't even talk about. They were sitting right there the whole time, okay? So Stacy built an organization down here. He built an organization down here. Remember Tom and, uh, what was it? It was Mark and Kate we talked about. So here he's not getting paid because you have to have two sides that match, right? All, he's getting paid here because volume comes here and passes up to here. You get paid on this business. Let's say it's two years down the road, Stacey. You've built two good organizations. You say, I want to increase my income. Now you say, you've got half of this built. You've got maybe 100 people down here. You start building one new organization here. Volume matches because this volume's already here. Now for building one more organization, he can double his money. For those of you that are newer, I want you to really get this. First time he did it, how many organizations did he have to build to get one business built? Two. Two. To double his money, how many organizations does he have to build new? One. One. To triple his money, he has to build one more. So by building a total there of four organizations, he can earn a ridiculously nice amount of money. Okay. Is there anybody in the room who would say, that's great, but I want more? Oh, you're getting away from me to finish. Your hands up. North Carolina, here we come. Once you get to five and five on one of these one time, you get an ability to have another business. Fourth business. So that business has to go down. Here's what the beauty of the plan is. If Stacy wants to make more money, he places his fourth business. It has to go where? Vertically down below the existing team. So when he builds this and he identifies two new people and volume comes up, where does the volume go to? It goes to the people who are helping him. Who's, is Stacy literally working for Travis now, helping Travis? So to make more money, the beauty of it is he has to go down below and support the team that's already there. And he has the ability to have a fourth business. You can go on and have a fifth business. Honestly, guys, I only talk about building one because once you build one, then I'll teach you how to build the second or third, but we got to do one first. Does that make sense? Yes. All right. The only thing I want you to get out of this is you can have an unlimited income. Lisa and I have six of these businesses. Three that go zero to 5,000 a week. Three that we're working on finishing going zero to 5,000 a week. And that's our whole goal in the business is to finish, it, finish those. Here's from a recap standpoint. You have the ability to earn profits and re, uh, um, cash back from day one. You have volume accrual where the volume adds up, 365 days. The volume system searches for BV and IBV to infinity. Volume and people placement. Remember how we placed people down and volume into Stacy's business? Unlimited income potential. And you can start it fully qualified for what we call a fast start program of $399. Now, when I get to this point, there's a couple things I tell people. You've been sitting here, you've been great as guests. Let the person who brought you know where you stand. I don't know, like a one out of three. A one means, you know what? I came, I listened, but I'm not really interested. Maybe I want to buy a, some of the products. A Daily Essentials Kit is one of the best things you can get because it gives you a 60% off because you buy four products at one time. If you're a two out of three, it means I need to get more questions answered and book an appointment right away. That's a great answer. If you need to learn more, learn more. If you're a three out of three, it means, you know what? I don't get everything. But I get left, right, one, two. And if that guy from Wisconsin can do it, I can do it too. And I know some of you are thinking that. When I showed her sister the business, who went on to become a million dollar earner, we weren't married at the time. Her sister, I was a year in the business. I was making about $2,000 a week. Her sister said, how much is that guy making? And Lisa said, well, he's getting close to 10000 a month. And she goes, well, then I'm going to be a millionaire. <laughs> Which meant she didn't think I was that great. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Because she went on to her, she took on under $2 million uh, with the company. But let the person know if you want to get started, we'll help you do that as well. What I'd like to do before we end, though, at least can I have you say a couple words? Um, You're always going to be busy. Um, you know, things are always going to be happening in your life. 
and they're going to happen, that's going to be the way it is today, that's going to be the way it is five years from now, and the rest of your life. And time goes by like this. That same little daughter that was nine months old is now turning 17 years old. And we've been with her every step of the way of her life. And that's a, an incredible thing. So I would say, you know, number one, if you like what you see, you'll learn as you go. You're with a phenomenal team. We're here to help you. Don't waste time. As good as the business was 17 years ago when we started, it's so great and so much better today. And uh, we're looking forward to working with all you guys. And, and, you know, that's it. I've answered any questions. Yeah. Um, this is Dawn Florio. For those of you that, that don't know Dawn, I'm going to have her introduce herself. Uh, she's an executive coordinator with the company, but was very, very fast. She's yeah. one of the top business builders in the company uh, in the last year as well. Uh, Dawn, why don't you just tell them uh, the occupation, uh, and, and how you feel about the business, let them know. Hi everyone. Hi. 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 I just want to say I love all your guy. I love all you guys and I love Mark in America. Mark in America has absolutely changed my life. I wish I would have found Mark in America 22 years ago because my life would have been so, so different. But I am very fortunate and blessed to have met um, Jim and Lisa Winkler who are my personal mentors. And I love the bishop, and I love the congregation here, and I love Team Fat Joe. Um, because we're, we're such passionate people, and we all are entrepreneurs. I got involved in the business because I'm a criminal defense attorney. I've had my own law firm for 26 years. And one of the things, and I work very, very hard. In fact, I'm on trial presently with a murder case right now, trying to save a young man's life. Um, and, you know, my, I love my job, but. I work so, so hard and I struggle every day. Um, as Joe, um, Fat Joe says, like every day I walk up those courtroom steps and you know, you, you sort of get tired. 26 years is a long time. And I love it, but I feel there's so much more out there for me. And I found what I'm looking for in Market America. And basically, the reason why I'm so interested in Market America is not only to make this great residual income, because as a solo business owner, God forbid, like as Jim said, something happens to me. Well, what am I going to do? I don't have a pension. I, I have no asset. To me, the residual income through Market America is an asset. It's something that I can retire on. It's something that I can pass on to my family. Which, but more importantly, besides all the crazy money I know that I'm going to make, <laughs> with all of you together, working as a team, um, I want to have time. I want to travel. I want to have a weekend off. I want to just enjoy myself and go to sleep at night not worrying about, oh my God, what time do I have to get to court? Am I going to be late? Um, so welcome everyone. Um, we're here to help you and this is the best decision you make by coming tonight if you're a new guest. Um, please get with the person who brought you and just keep coming back and keep coming back. And if you're ready to sign up, you don't have to wait. Great. Thank you. Uh, that I've ever been. You've been in the business how long now? A year. A year. A year in Mark America and doing so well. Um, let me do this because I, I like to close up to keep on time and we'll answer more questions separately with people. But uh, for the guests, I want to show one more thing. If you're in the business, if you've started your Mark in America shop.com business and you've even made retail profit so far, would you stand up for me, please? Would you stand up if you've made retail profit already? Come on around and applaud. Also, if you I know a lot of you are so new, but if you earned your a commission check, would you stand up for me with Mark America? If you earned your first commission check. And then, uh, what I'd like to close with, um, Andrew, could I have you come, Andrew Weissman, Mr. Weissman? <laughs> few words and then we'll turn it over to, to Bishop Jordan um, who again as I mentioned before I'm, I'm so proud to have met him and to become a friend now and what he's doing and we'll let him sort of close out and just say thank you to everybody and, and any words you want to add but and what do you just, just just a few words um, you know maybe about what's happened in the area and, and what's going on with the company if you wouldn't mind. Well did you do a great job or what? Yeah.
really has been blessed. And when we met Bishop Jordan in Jamaica, um, what? Uh, in June, right before, June, the week before my birthday, right, right. And during my birthday, then JRK. Yeah. Okay, well, and then we came, then we came up uh, a few days later and, and, and joined him to celebrate his 50th at the 4040 Club. Um, the point was, you know, we saw something special in him. I think he saw something special in us. Yes. And um, I think he immediately saw the power of this business model. And we, we've often talked about the fact that, you know, we really haven't had a strong penetration in, in the Latin and in the urban community. And the only reason for that is, it's simply we haven't had the leadership, you see. But now we do. And look what's happening, you see. So I think he sees this as a movement in a variety of different aspects, not just from a financial standpoint, but from a health and wellness standpoint. So um, we've been fortunate just in the past, what, six weeks or whatever, yes. um, to really attract some great entrepreneurs to this team. And it's true, this is the fastest growing team in the nation. Woo! team to support the efforts of those people who are implementing this proven business plan. So we've been very fortunate to have Lisa and Jim Winkler in here several times. Um, they're, they're so sought after in, in, around the world yes, and people don't generally get to spend this type of quality time with them to support their businesses. So it's really a blessing to have them come for these past few days. So thank you guys for coming back. the success happening already. People are earning retail profits, people are earning commissions, they're hitting coordinator and executive coordinator, earning $300, $600, $900, $1,500 in commissions. And as you learn, that's just the beginning. You see, in the very beginning, you're, you're going to feel like maybe you're a little underpaid for all the work and time and energy you're putting into it. But over a year, two years, you're going to maybe even feel a little guilt because of all the money that's going to be coming in for things that you're not doing. So, you know, so, 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 Seven million dollars later. No, no. But, but the point is, obviously, you, you, you saw how the, the, the attraction to what we do is the fact that you really can create an asset for yourself that can lead to a significant ongoing income, right? You really can develop this income that's so secure and stable that the deposits of commissions coming into your account will continue whether you like it or not. Most people like it. Yeah. <laughs> no commissions are sent back to, to the company. But the point is, if you understand everything tonight, you're smarter than everybody throughout the world, you know? So really what it boils down to is whether you chose the two to three year plan over the 45 year plan. If you chose the two to three year plan, it's just a matter of having some fun with this, booking a follow up appointment with the person who brought you and invited you here this evening, getting more information, trying some products, and really sitting down with a couple of people that you respect enough and you think enough of to evaluate the business. And you don't have to do it alone. We'll do it with you, you see, and we work together as a team. The whole philosophy here is the fact that the whole is always greater than the sum of the parts. We can go a lot further with a lot more strength by working collectively as a unit or a team than if any one person were to try to do it individually. Does that make sense? Yes. That's really the whole premise to what we do. And we just simply have an extremely powerful and realistic plan that enables individuals who are coachable, cooperative, and have a little enthusiasm Right? to get the things that they want, follow the system, that the, the, they'll make it. So next week we'll continue. Um, we have... Yeah, can you tell them um, tomorrow night you're going to be doing a presentation in the Bronx? Thank you. No. 13, 14, Blonde, Bell Avenue. I'm going to be doing a home business presentation tomorrow evening with Dawn and her, and her team. And say that um, where it's going to be? Yes, it's going to be in the Bronx. It's 1314 Blondell Avenue. Um, I sent the information to Bishop George and, and, and Kenneth Cook. Um, but it's 1314 Blondell Avenue in the Bronx. It's by Williamsbridge Road and Westchester Avenue. So if you have anyone that lives in the Bronx, any guests you want to get there, please come and join us. We're all one team. Yeah, yes, we're we one, one big team. So, so, so in, in this coming week, um, we're going to have a special um, training on, on Monday night. Yes. We're going to find something that's going to be really special on Monday night starting at 7 o'clock. Tuesday night, another training. And then Wednesday night, we're going to do another um, unfranchised business presentation the same way we did here this evening. So, um, oh, and my apologies. Thank you very much, sir. Um, Lisa Costa 
who is the, um, the, 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 the director of training with our cosmetics division, or Motives Cosmetics. She's the best of the best of the best. She's coming in for Saturday and Sunday to conduct a two-day training. So for anybody who is really serious about specializing and focusing their time and energy with Motives Cosmetics, um, then I encourage you to go ahead and um, connect with Kenneth or Naomi to make sure your name is on the list and you can attend, okay? It's going to be right here, um, and we can email you the flyer which breaks down the time for, um, for Saturday and also for Sunday. So that's for anybody who's really, really interested and serious about that aspect of the business. With that being said, anything else? Please welcome Of uh, this year, we'll be celebrating 35 years of marriage. <laughs> so we're excited that all of you are here at. Um, those from Team Fat Joe, raise your hand. All of the people from Team Fat Joe, let's give them a hand. And I understand that uh, we have some people from Amberteen, is it? All right. And uh, any other teams in Market America that are here with us tonight? Hey, Team Winkler right here with you. <laughs> And the thing that I love about this business is that you're in business for yourself, but not by yourself. Right. Now, I believe in the Detroit and Impact Network with Bishop Wayne T. Jackson, who has come into the business, who has a mega team. So I'll be out there for four weeks, not continuing back and forth. Um, and he's bringing his church into the business. Wow. And then we have um, Bishop Hudson who came in. Yes. It was a mega church out of Chicago yes. and just came into the business. Yes. And that's not all. <laughs> but y'all gonna help me with this next one. Reverend Al Sharpton has come yes. in and he's yes. getting all of his chapters ready. And he texts me today. He says, I'm, gonna, um, I, I'm sitting down Dominique, his daughter, to get them activated, and um, Hardy, his attorney, and they want us to come, and they want to put regular training over there on 140th Street, so this would be great. 20,000 is on the so it was Now, um, before you go, we're going we're gonna to take a group picture tonight, but before you do, I want to thank Dr. Lou Willman for inviting me to come. Reverend Ike, known him for decades, a friend of the family, and so if you need any jewelry or anything, she does high-end estate jewelry, and she's right here with us, Lou Willard. Thank you for coming. Joyce Gardner, we thank you for flying up to you. She has a team going, and she, she has um, three child cares. Three child yes, and the other one is on home. And the other one's on hold. She went for the grant. She went to the presentation in Greensboro. After she she said, "I have a grand opening on Saturday," I said, "Well, just come for a few hours." She was looking at the me business. She said, "I got a grand opening." Anyway, I'm in Herbalife, so I, I said, "Well, this is it." I said, "We're not. I'm not telling you to stop Herbalife because we only do this business part time." Right. So she said, "Okay." By the time Jamie Foxx got up there, she started moving. <laughs> and when we got through, I said, Joyce, you got to get ready to get back home. She said, no, I'm staying for the whole weekend. I said, your grand opening. She said, I canceled it. Oh. I said, Joyce, what's that? She said, no. She said, do you see this thing with the And she's been running ever since. And so she has meetings there in North Carolina weekly, and she's in people's home, and she is doing it. We have a church getting ready to come in in North Carolina right now. So it is happening. Uh, we thank God for also Victor Hobson. Stand, Victor. Um, <laughs> who 
former NS, NFL football player, and he was at the meeting with us in Greensboro at the convention, and him and his wife joined, got some great plans of what they're doing to um, build the, listen, just to do it. And you know what, uh, listen, a lot of us, now I'll be honest with you, listen, I am already rich. Okay. <laughs> I'm already rich. No, no, I don't want to keep it real. I want you to know my wives. I do very well. Joyce is rich as well. Okay? We've seen millions of dollars. Okay? We're in it because of what we see that we can do for you. Now, I really need you to hear this. When I saw the plans, I looked at some of your faces and said, they'll never make 100000 a year, although they want to, and they're sincere. Mm -hmm. And then they opened up water. I said, they'll never make a million a year. But when I saw the possibility that can happen, and then I asked some particularly pointed questions. And I says, I'm going to take the next three years off from what I'm doing, and I'm going to become committed to the members of my church becoming rich. I found a system that works. You're coachable, you'll pull it through you. You'd have to ask the question, why would successful people do this business? He was doing, uh, Jim Winkler was, had a very good job. He was make, you're already making six figures a year. Why would it be people that have made, why would it be people that have already, are millionaires or generate millions, turn around and come into something like this?